Right, so today we are meeting Bora. We're currently on walking, I think just over an hour uh, to get to where we're meeting. Connor's got, got his pastry. Uh, apparently, it tastes like marble cake. I got mine. It's basically just a croissant. But very good it's a very good marble cake. Right, we're just walking over the bridge right now. Jeez! Wait, what? I think that's just probably the support. But. That looks, that looks nice. Well, that looks nice. At least it doesn't look like poop water. It doesn't look like poop water. Already just walking down here. There's so many. So that's the palace over there. The Moscow behind us. You can't see it because of the tall building. There's a lot of boat tours, which we're tempted to take. The sunnies are on. It is hot. I think today probably going to be the hottest day that we have because as you can see, there's barely any clouds. There's clouds behind me, but there's barely any. But, um, I, I think we're near the column of the Goths, but um, I, I, we, we don't fully know where it is. So we're, we're just gonna try and find it. Don't know what it is yet, but already found some Roman stuff. I know, I know the Roman, because those columns just, they just, they just look Roman. Just, they're, they're made out of marble. Let me just take a shortcut. Collar's just about right. So yeah, we'll research what it is first and then I'll talk about it. <laughs> so after a little bit of reading, uh, we don't really know what this is. Um, but yeah, apparently there were like wells or something. The signs don't say specifically what it was used for, but there are like some columns here. So apparently, like I said, it said wells. There's like little edges here. Not 100% sure if there's like maybe water running through it. But judging by the fact that it's by the sea, it could have been something to do with water or wells or collecting water. It could have been maybe for fishing, I don't know. But that's cool. So this little bit, what I, what my professional recommendation, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I, probably, I haven't learned too much about the Byzantine Empire, but still, I think, what I think is water went through here, those kind of slowed it down or filtered, maybe picked up some things on the way that they don't really want in the ocean, but a lot of these are roadways as well. I can't they had metal beam in the, in the third and fourth century. Like, it's amazing that they've uncovered this. I'm leaving, Connor. Um, no, bye. <laughs> Wait. No one's waving. So currently we are in what my dodgy pronunciation of Gulhaden Park or something like that. But yeah, what what we read on the side, <laughs> this park is basically the garden of the Top Cappy Palace. So, but it recently, well, it wasn't recent, no. but the mayor of Istanbul basically opened it to the public and then it's, I can see the column right there, uh, opened it to the public. But it has like range of history with like both Byzantine and Ottoman Empire. That's all I can remember <laughs> of what Turkey used to be. But there's some really cool nice, stuff around here. Really nice that the guy opened, opened the park to everyone. <laughs> I don't think he really had a choice. Right, so it's actually massive. We're actually right by the Column of the Goths. And to explain why it's called the Column of the Goths, here's Connor. It's really cool and big. I don't know why it's called the Column of the Goths. <laughs> you tell me. The Goths were basically a tribe in the northern part of the empire, and the Romans fought them quite a bit. So, this is a victory monument to one of the battles fought against the Goths. That's what I think it is. That's what I'm pretty sure it is. I'll probably double check. I'll read the side over there. But I'm pretty sure it's a victory monument. I just read at the top would have been, I think a statue or something of the goddess Tyke, which was the goddess of good luck. It was a pagan goddess. So when the Christians came along, they took it off because uh, heresy, I don't know. <laughs> 
So I left Connor on the bench over there. Mainly just saying he's a weird guy, help me. But there are some more Roman stuff over here behind the fence. You can see the like the little columns and the walls. I don't actually know fully what most of these are for. There might be some signs on the other side. I might be getting a better view of this. This reminds me of Athens where you're like kind of just walking around the place and then you find like little just things out of the, out of the middle of nowhere. It's like some things you just kind of wonder, why is it there? Why, why, what was the point of putting just some random columns here? But to us, it would have looked like random columns. But back then, they obviously they had a purpose. It looked much better back then. <laughs> it wasn't half destroyed. I reckon today is the day where I kind of get a little bit more invested. Even though I'm, I've been like very interested in what we've seen so far with all the ancient stuff. This is where I kind of get into my zone, <laughs> into my. Why didn't you study ancient Turkey? I mean, I studied the Romans that I've I've read about. Well, I haven't read. I watched I watched like documentaries about the Byzantine Empire, but just you don't even need to know about this period to understand like what half of these things are. You can you can literally study any period and you see this column and you know exactly why it's there. From my perspective, like I understand like, the importance of history, not necessarily ancient history. Back. But I just appreciate like the architecture and like, yeah. I think it's really cool in the, the building styles, you know, they made everything look so grand. It's like amazing. It's really yeah. good. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, but what would so we're waiting for Bora now. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting we're waiting for Bora now. Um, and I believe we're gonna go into the top top copy palace. I think I mentioned that already. Um, after that we might head over to, I think, the Hagia Sophia. Okay. I think that's where the other mosque is over. Um, there's also some more Roman stuff that I kind of want to have a look at. Uh, I know there's the aqueducts. There's the, um, the obelisk of Theodosius, which is right by, uh, which would have been slap bang in the middle of a chariot racing stadium. I don't quite know where it is. I guess we'll find out soon. <laughs> 10 hours later and Bora still isn't flipping here. Found him. Aqueduct! Woo, baby! <laughs> <laughs> YouTube featuring Bora and me. <laughs> and most importantly, me. Right, so we just finished meeting Bora. It was. Oh, oh hello. So we just finished being in Bora, and it was great to meet him after five years of like chatting online. It was so great to meet him for the first time. It was great. He kind of <laughs> he saw the bus he was meant to get on. I just legged it, he just went, okay, bye. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're gonna go back to the hotel now. Might pop by one of the shops. <laughs> so, so, so we're gonna pop back to the hotel now. We're gonna pop by a shop on the way, get more supplies, um, and just chill out for the evening. I think we don't really have a plan for tonight. I think it's mainly just to chill out because I think we've had a really busy couple of days. Um, so we're just going to chill out in the hotel. Uh, but also maybe just go out for like food or whatever. But yeah, we'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure it out. But we're going back to the hotel now. But look, just the bridges. The bridges are insane. Um, really want to jump in the water just for the fun of it. I'm racing Connor down, but his lift just stopped. <laughs> so yeah, extra time. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> another day, another time, hanging out with this Muppet. We bought football shirts. We got some football shirts. We had a good, very good lunch. Uh, oh, lunch 
Now we're kind of just a, we're, today's kind of our chillax shopping day, basically. I think. Shopping, shopping. Cheers. We just rolled down the road and we walked up yesterday, but. Cheers. <laughs> but um, you could easily. Swaggy. All right, we're gonna show off what we got. Connor's gonna get his stuff, go in there, and then come out like a model. Single laddie, reveal yourself. That was the oh, That's nice. The Galatasaray football shirt. Play on the back. Mario Cardi Day doesn't even know who he is. These shorts, you know, they're looking pretty fly. I mean, they go with the shirt well. They're not going to tassel or anything, they're just a little face, but you know, they're a good fit. I think I'm looking pretty fresh. Cole, how we what we saying? Yeah, looks nice. No size. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, let me do, let me do. <laughs> let me hit. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh no. Right, I'm just gonna show I'm just gonna show my kit. I I don't really want to wear it now but um But I've got first of all I've got a turkey hat which I think looks snazzy. Might wear today. I don't know. But then if I can put this out one handed got the nice Turkey National Show which is plain and simple but I feel like Simple could go a long way. <laughs> and I like I like red, so this is actually a really nice shirt, so I will be glad to have this. Right, so it's another day. Past couple of days we haven't vlogged too much, mainly because the other day we were me and Bora and I didn't really want to film too much. And yesterday we were having like a more of a chill out day. So it wasn't too much, uh, but today is going to be a bit more busy. We're currently at a cafe, which is just by the restaurant. It's quite, quite extravagant. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But um, so we're going to have breakfast now. We've been meaning to go to this place. Yeah, we've been meaning to go to this place for a while. Um, but we're going to have breakfast now. And then we're gonna go to something called the Grand Bazaar, which is like a massive Turkish market, uh, which is like very cramped as well, which I'll obviously film when we get there. Um, uh, it's kind, it's also on the other side of, of the mouth of the Bosphorus or whatever. Just say that it's on the other side of the Bosphorus. And yeah, well, the, but it's not the, the the bit we're going across isn't even the Bosphorus. Yeah, it's the Bosphorus Strait. The other one's the Bosphorus that goes to the Asian side. Oh. <laughs> now that is a view. Cheers! Talk about a room with a view. <laughs> We're just walking under the bridge this we walked under bridge. yesterday, over yesterday. But it's a pretty good view to say, Luke. You've got the mosque over there as well. Show you where we were. Show you where we were. Uh, we were the other day over there. That's the, top, that's, have, the, that's the top cafe palace. We have been over there well, like the majority of the time. But now we're going back over where we were there. And we might end up going over there. We don't know yet, but we'll figure something out. We have finally made it. Grand Bazaar. Myself. Nice like, morning. Well, <laughs> so, as you know, we're in the Grand Bazaar. It's very cool. Cole bought a, Cole bought a football shirt, actually. A Bashikas. He bought, well, another, another football shirt. He bought a Bashikas one. Do you attempt to I, got, well? I got the Galatasaray yesterday, which you guys saw. Which was, was it yesterday? Yeah. They're yesterday or the day before, yeah. I can't remember. But yeah, so we're, you know, we're just walking around. It's pretty awesome. I don't know if this segment's going to end up in the video. 
but if it does, sub subscribe to subscribe to Pony Player Six One Nine. We we were literally we were literally just we tried like a little taster thing from a vendor, but um, they took us into the little shop because we actually really liked what they gave us. Yeah, they, they were nice. But it was expensive as hell, <laughs> and also um, they tried to give us like normal hot tea, like a really Turkish hot tea. Uh, I didn't have it because I thought it was gonna be like, you have it, now you have to buy it. Yeah, Cole didn't, Cole didn't have his. I tried mine. I didn't like I didn't it. Like it. <laughs> but um, then uh, with, when they found out we were in England, they try and say the most English things. Yeah, like, he, he showed us. He showed us like a, a kilogram of it. So yeah, he was just like, and then he said, "Cheaper than Tesco." It's again at another pub. Yeni Kami. Which, if you want any tr information about the Yeni Kami, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing about that. Uh, yeah, we know nothing. <laughs> so we just popped on the bridge where the trains are. Cheese. Great view. So amazing. Uh, we're gonna take a selfie now. Bye. To uh, do something that's time ended. The hands up and run good looking. Yep, yep, sorry. Yep, 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 all good.